everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another College Football 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new content drop for Stories of the Week. This is a weekly promo that's coming out each and every Tuesday until further notice and it features one LTD and two 85 overall champions. Let's go ahead and jump on into the promo. So we're going to start with solo challenges. This promo debuted last Tuesday and it looks like it's probably going to be about a four week promo probably leading up into the college football season and if you go into the conference stories section of solos we now have a second sequence that was added this one is going to highlight the sec conference the first week highlighted the american and big 12 conferences so if you play through the solos and today you can see there's a total of 30 stars I believe you can now get a total of 60 if you play through both sequences. You're going to be earning rewards. And for the most part, you're going to be getting coins. Not a ton of them. You can see the first two rewards only to total 2,500 coins. Well, at tier 3, which is 27 stars, and now at tier 6, which is 57 stars, you're going to get a Story of the Week token. So you should now have two of these in total once you max out every solo star that's available. Those tokens are used on the Welcome Pack Nick Scourton card, which you should have received received last week when this promo came out so he starts at an 80 overall at left end and if you go to this card and go to the upgrade tab you're going to see that there's four spots for upgrades each of them containing one token and once you get all four tokens he's going to go up to an 84 overall for free so at this point with the solos that are available you can get him up to an 82 overall for free two more weeks should lead to that 84 so following the trend it looks like every week we're going to get two champions and one ltd we saw ollie gordon last week week as the LTD. Today we have a left tackle in Will Campbell. Very hard to get excited about an offensive lineman, but he's probably going to be one of the best, if not the best, left tackles in the game. 86 strength, 82 awareness, 84 pass block, and 83 run block. I personally haven't really tested out any offensive lineman abilities just yet, uh, but you can see that he is going to get a few. You got one that's ground and pound that's going to be dedicated, obviously, towards the run game. The outside shield gives you slightly improved first level double team block on outside runs quick drop is going to give you slightly improved movement on standard pass plays and right now the pass rush meta is the quick jump ability and one of the new cards that came out today here one of the champions at an 85 overall and John ja Marion Latham hopefully I got his name right here uh, if you take a look at his card pretty good attributes 80 speed 83 acceleration finesse move 81 power move 85 block shed 84 uh, strength a little bit low at 80 there but he's still pretty well balanced if you take a look at the upgrade path and the abilities available on this card, you're going to see that he gets quick jump for quick jump for 3 AP. This is what a lot of people are using and there's, you know, higher levels to this as far as like silver, gold and platinum within the regs game mode, but this has been the best ability so far that people have tested out for pass rushing and we now have a left end that came out that can get it. The second champion that came out today is going to be Ra Ra Thomas, an 85 overall wide receiver. He is 6 foot 2, 84 stock speed, which is actually really good at this point in the game. 85 catching pretty high right now uh pretty good route running across the board this actually looks like a very very solid card we're still in the testing phases of a lot of abilities but for me because it's so easy to get yards after the catch the shifty ability probably isn't a bad idea here because he's going to give you that increased ability to maintain your speed when you're trying to cut and do juke moves. And that's without like any actual ball carrier moves. That's just using your left stick. But overall, uh, I really like this card. I'd still obviously say that the LTD Randy Moss, who's six foot four with 86 speed, and even the six foot five ultimate alumni Mike Evans with 85 speed are probably two better options out there. But I think this one will certainly be a lot less expensive than Randy. Moss he might fall in that same price range as Mike Evans but if you're looking for a receiver uh, this is a pretty good pickup now aside from buying them on the auction house the only way to get the new cards that came out today is going to be through the 85 overall stories of the week champion set and I've talked about this all last week and now we're seeing the effects of it this week and going forward that I'm not a fan of these sets because you put four 83 overall cards and in this case four 83 overall story of the week cards you get a champion in return but you're not guaranteed the player that you want it's not a fantasy pack which also means now if you complete this set you still have a high likelihood of getting the 85 overalls that came out last week which is going to make the 85s that came out this week a little bit more rare obviously more expensive and if you're trying to get a specific card you just don't have that option I'm not a fan of this, and it looks like, at least early on, 
this is the route that they're going to be going with these champion sets for every single promo. We're going to see Ultimate Alumni on Friday. We got stories of the week today. More than likely tomorrow, we're going to see the In Case You Missed It promo. And all of these have a similar setup where you're not able to pick the champion of your choice when you complete the set. I don't like it. Objectives were added in yesterday, but in case you missed it, there are a bunch of them in the Season 1 Field Pass. So, of course, you've got your dailies. If we go over the Conference Stories of the Week, there's new objectives to get two sacks with Conference stories players in your lineup that was here yesterday like i said normally they update these on the day that the promo comes out but if we scroll backwards you can see there's also new objectives for the in case you missed it promo and also one new objective for passing yards within the season one field pass now speaking of objectives there was one that i know a lot of you have been trying to get done in the orientation field pass if you go over to that you got to see or you see that one of these objectives is to play a solo battles game i'm sure a lot of you watching this video are just this one singular objective away from completing this field pass well i'm sad to say solo battles was back for a very brief moment and now it is gone again so if you've been trying to get that objective done you're gonna have to continue to wait i don't know why it came back just to go down again i don't know if it was still glitching out with season one xp instead of battle score which is supposed to reward at the end of the day the only reason you're really going to want to play through solo battles is because of that one objective otherwise it's just not a very rewarding rewarding game mode. In fact, it really only gives you about a thousand coins. If you're an offline player, you should be playing through solo seasons, knocking out those All-American seasons to max out the best coins, and you get a pack when you win a national championship. So just a few updates there. There was a glitch when we go over to the store, and it still could be taking place right now. Uh, there's a Conference Stories of the Week training pack. So it's 3,000 training to open up. You get an 80 plus overall conference stories player or better training packs like every other pack has been pretty miserable in the game but there are two cards one being an 80 overall jason jones that's quick selling for 500 training instead of its normal rate by the time a lot of you are watching this video either this pack is going to be gone the card's going to be out of the game or the value is going to be fixed on it so i will mention it but i don't think you're going to be able to rush to get any of this done i believe 85 overalls were quick selling for more than they were supposed to with as well the likelihood of you getting a 85 out of this pack is very very slim uh, and there are additional packs that came along with today's content drop so your $100 bundle is going to give you four rare conference story packs uh, two 80 plus conference stories players and then two more 82 pluses it looks like the packs are a little bit better but for me personally definitely not going to buy it because I don't think the cards that came out today are like must-haves and number two I don't really think I want to buy any more $100 bundles until they include a champion out of them. Like, that's the only route that these should be for this much money. This is still not acceptable to me. So I would save my money if I were you. If there are any promos that you're really going to want to spend money on, right now it's probably going to be Ultimate Alumni and Legends. Stories of the Week is just kind of a weekly promo that I don't think is going to give us a ton of cards that are like, oh my god, I had to have, I have to have these. And I think the same thing's going to happen with most of the cards from the In Case You Missed It promo. The cool thing about that promo is that it is starting to feature players that are actively in the NFL uh, back on their college days. So the names are a little bit more recognizable. I think that's one thing where this game is missing. You're not as to get excited when you, you know, unless you're a big fan of one of these college teams. Like when we're getting these college players who aren't the super duper superstars, it's hard to get really excited about them as well. So uh, here are the additional packs. $25 pack that gives you two 80 plus cards and then an 82 plus topper. Not worth it for $25. Uh, and you have a standard pack here for 43,000 coins or 750 points. Again, please don't spend your coins on any packs. Buy the players that you want. Save up for them. Go out and buy them. It's just going to be a long-term coin sink there. So that's the content for today. Again, not very, very exciting at all. Really, all you can do is go out there and grind through the solos to make sure that you get your next collectible to upgrade your free player. We should see the In Case You Missed It promo tomorrow. And other than that, that's all we got for now. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.